The last adjustment that I do in the pronation protocol could technically be called a knee adjustment. It's for the fibular head. Now, in the pronated foot, when the bones in the foot do what they do in pronation, it's going to cause a compensatory posterior and potential lateral misalignment in the fibular head. Here's how I adjust a posterior lateral fibular head. The last adjustment in the pronation protocol is for the fibular head, which will always go posterior with a potential lateral component. The procedure for this adjustment is for the doctor to stand on the outside or lateral aspect of the patient's foot facing the patient's face. The doctor is going to take the inside hand and grab just above the ankle. Then the outside index finger pad is going to locate the bony prominence of the fibular head. Now, the idea is via a tissue pull to get this metacarpal interphalangeal knuckle onto the posterior aspect of the fibular head so that it can act as a fulcrum for a lever. So the way that we'll do this is to find the bony prominence of the fibular head, take an A to P, then lateral to medial tissue pull so that the knuckle is on the posterior aspect of the fibular head. If you're doing this tissue pull properly, you will not be able to see your big knuckle from your vantage point. If you see your big knuckle from your vantage point, you're on the lateral aspect of the fibular head. In that case, the knuckle will not act as a fulcrum for a lever. So again, find the bony prominence of the fibular head, take an A to P, then lateral to medial tissue pull all around so that your knuckle is on the posterior fibular head. Tension is achieved by bending the knee, approximating the heel to the buttocks. Now, when the heel comes about three to five inches from the patient's buttocks, that's where tension is usually achieved. Then, very simply, without moving this headward hand, the one that's connecting the fibular head, the doctor will thrust the heel toward the buttocks. So, tissue pull, bend the knee, thrust. This is the third typical pauper cavitation that if you do this style of adjusting on a pronated foot, you will usually hear a typical pop on this adjustment.